All right, hello. Um, I'm online. It took me a minute because this is my first time streaming music uh, while I stream. Um, I figured tonight's a good night to try it because I felt like listening to music. Um, this is all um, Twitch music, like Twitch's music streamers. Um, and I'll probably get sick of what it has to offer soon enough, but like for now, I haven't really listened to a lot of it. I hope that other people haven't listened to it too much. That's always what I worry about is like, someone's looking for a chill stream to listen to music to, and it's like a Twitch music thing, then they, they may have already heard it all, you know? But um, I haven't heard it, so I'm gonna listen to it for a bit. And um, I heard somebody playing I, I saw someone today playing Elden Ring that was streaming, like, copywritten music, and I was just kind of surprised. Like, it was, like, big stuff, you know? And, um, it just surprised me that they were doing that, so I, I don't have that kind of, uh, moxie. Um, because, you know, you get three copyright strikes, I think they, they can keep you from streaming anymore. Uh, but anyways, doing some Twitch music. Um, I already went through here, and honestly, I don't know what I'm supposed to do next. Um, I think it's probably time to talk to Blyde. That would be smart. Uh, but I do want to go here, because I didn't have enough keys to get here last try, so I can head over there. We also can go to the before Belfries, because we got a new key for that. Um, so let's get going. Also backed up the save uh, so that we have a copy of 125, and the next level goal is 137, and that's where we're gonna stop probably forever. So yeah, let's go going. Love this fucking cave. It's one of the better ones for sure. Uh, the first time I went through this cave, it was after I beat the game um, on a previous run, and it just like amazed me that like I was still discovering new shit in the game, which I think I still maybe will. I don't know. Turn on Tantra's tongue as well. Keep it interesting. Uh, keep me scared. Because I think that um, the game, like I'm on New Game Plus, but it's not like hard enough for me at this point in the game. Um, I'm sure that once we progress though, this game's gonna crush me. Uh, in, New, in New Game Plus at least, especially with some of the bosses. Or I hope it does, you know? Dude, just look at that. So eerie. Take a screenshot. Good stuff. It's hard to sneak up on me. That wizard did either did a lot of damage. Yeah, they just did a lot of damage. That's what happened. Shit. <laughs> I'm 
glad he doesn't have a bleed. Uh, well, he should have a bleed though. Lots of panic rolling on my part. Oh, lots of panic rolling. <laughs> Good game. I should have um, been a little more aggressive there. I just ran away like a. <laughs> I was. Uh, I wasn't ready. It'll take me a while to be ready, but I'm. I'm here for it. I'm here to get crushed. I'm here to play scared. Another goal of mine for this playthrough is going to be to stop using uh, lock-on, if I can help it. Uh, for flying enemies, that's going to be tough, so I probably won't do it for them. But uh, especially for like my dodge attacks, um, I need to stop locking on because I cannot, I cannot control what happens if I lock on. See, that uh, I wouldn't have been able to do that. I gotta say, um, I, I selected the synth soundtrack uh, from Twitch, Twitch's curated synth um, playlist. Uh, and I gotta say, it's it's pretty gamer, and I don't mean that in a good way, but it's also like, I'm okay with that too, because I haven't really done that a lot. So we got one of our sword stone keys back. This convenient. This is one of those places where I don't know if there's a secret wall or not. I don't think so. You want to see if we can sneak up on this guy? There's a little bit of light around me. I don't know if this is a uh, sneaky spot or not. Oh, and a hunter has been summoned. Here comes the invaders. I believe. I just saw something out there. Maybe it was our friend. Someone's coming. Dragon build. They look like they're having fun. It's going to make things up. I 
tapizadas. We get hit. Those jump attacks can be hard to hit, but it looks like they built around those jump attacks and the. That's a fun way to surprise them. I'm sure they're scared. <laughs> and what did I say about target locking? What did I say? Just to, just to get my bearings, really. Why didn't they heal? Are they out of health? They're out of health. And they're running into a dead end. Well, good game. Still got Tantra's tongue in. Yeah, we just got it invaded again. Um, I already drank my flask. This time I think we're gonna get squashed. So there's, we can go up there. Or we can go over here and get this item. feeling that they may get lost after that because they thought that we were over there and that we passed them. I don't think they saw us. Yeah, they have no idea where we're at. Okay. Oh, did I go backwards? I went fucking backwards. <laughs> oh my god. Beautiful. Well, uh, we did pass them. That was kind of funny. I don't think they figured out where we went. I love uh, that you can just kind of not see people in this game. Um, I have my field of view set really high, and I think that helps a little bit with seeing people walk past me, but not necessarily a lot. I'm in such a dark corner. Oh, they're running. I was trying to bait them, but they were... This, they're smart. Honestly, if you're, if you're feeling like you're in trouble, you gotta get out of there. We got the bleed, I think, but not the damage. Missing over here. They're doing a good job. I'm, I'm really impressed. Like, as a caster, they're doing exactly what they should be doing. Honestly. That was a pretty big hit. I'm gonna give them some space, honestly. Like, I'm gonna let them do this because they're really entertaining. Like, I kinda actually wanna see where this goes. Actually, I didn't want to take him out there. Is 
These guys have been playing for a while, I'm sure, but... Almost punished that. There's some spells you can just kind of punish if you're aggressive. And that one is kind of one of them, but not. I didn't work quite as well as I thought it would. What are you doing? You're doing so well. They're using a Starlight Shard? Maybe. I'm not gonna do full heal. I expect. Oh boy. We got another invasion! <laughs> My buddy's in my way. I'm glad that uh, friendly fires off. Oh, they're sort of uh, difficult to see. They're using a spell. Uh, I forget what that's called. Oh, they're fighting each other. What are they doing? I think they just bumped heads for a minute there. This is what Elden Ring is all about, baby. Yeah, they're good. They're not gonna get the follow-up hits that I give them, I don't think. Um, what other spells do we get? That's an important spell to not uh, take for granted. Nice shot! He almost got us there. He almost got us there. Pretty good. He had he has got a lot more places to run than I would think. Or she. Oh, I don't think they were expecting that. They they're honestly like they have a lot of health too. Oh they slept me! Holy crap. Got another hunter coming in. Oh, that didn't work. I gotta learn to aim that if I'm gonna use it, I guess. That was a gift. run here. Surprised. I, I'm surprised I didn't get that. Panic rolling all the way though. That's like running a touchdown in Elden Ring, what they just did. They did very good. 
I'm, I'm really impressed with them. If I'm ever that good, um, I can I can retire in this game. That's how that's how good that is. It's such a great place to fight too. I don't even know where I am. That's how big that fight was. That's the spell we want. That is a spell that I desperately want. This dude does not fuck around. This is like the wizard that went to fucking gym every day. This this dude lifts. We just, we ran out of stamina. This is an interesting fight too. Okay, we kind of maybe needed it. In fact, I may as well heal him. Let them heal too. Yeah, I'm not fucking around, buddy. <laughs> We're using magic. Here, let's. He put one down too. That's funny. I like just making noise a little bit. And he's gonna go for me. I'm I'm gonna allow it. If he wants to go for me. Just make this place absolute chaos. I should have stayed back to use it. Oh, that was a pretty good throwback, but he doesn't have the range for it. Right. Respectable. People are good at this game, man. I feel like if I was doing invasions right now, I'd be getting shut down. Got a rune arc? Don't got there. I don't know how to get up there. We're gonna figure it out. Oh. Seems like it would have been like to our right, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. This is that one area that you really get to. These caves are very disorienting. Because there's a fog wall there. And I'm 99% sure that after that fog wall, there's no way to get like up there. Although I don't see an item up there either.
Dang. I guess I gotta straight this one. Let's pick a better fucking spell. This is why I need the Hymas thing. Yeah. Okay. That's the play. So, um, I don't think I can jump up there. But I don't know if there's anything up there anyways. It makes me want to get up though. I want a piece. Nothing in there. Okay. Well, it's boss time, I think. Um, someone uh, I watched named The Coop on Twitch mentioned that you should fight these guys with shields. Um, that would be smart, but I don't, I don't have any shields leveled up. So I think having a power stancing is a good alternative, though. Just getting those hits in. These guys are serious, though. I'm not staggering this one. Oh, there we go. That was actually pretty quick. Stamina regen is so slow. There we go. See, that's the damage. Also, I think we got, uh... We got like 60,000 runes in that time from fighting those other invaders. That's what my spine sounds like all the time. The cracking noise. Good game. Crystal release? Yes, please. Uh, that's actually pretty dope. Crystal Release sounds like the name of every album that we've heard in the Twitch playlist tonight. You know, the synth. The sort of slightly generic synth music. Does not- I don't know if it fits the vibe, but like, I'm okay with it, you know? I mean, it's not like a lo-fi fits the vibe, either. It'd actually be really funny if Twitch had, like, fantasy music. Uh, I would totally... Like, I gotta check for that at some point. Um, if Twitch doesn't have it, I will look for it, because... Having some fantasy music once in a while, like uh, Witcher-style music, maybe? Uh, could be pretty awesome. Another game I really want to... I've played it once, but they just did a free remaster of it. So I'm gonna pick some some good mods to use with it. Since it's an older game, maybe some Twitch integrated mods, although I don't think I'm eligible for those yet. Hopefully I will be by the time I wanna stream The Witcher. slight idea where I am. This is why I love this cave. Is because like one minute you're underground and the next minute you're like on top of the fucking world. You know? I think out of all the places in this game, like this, uh, this is like in the top five. Uh, 
in this game as far as like experiences from it. So we get Terra Magico, which is a really good spell, and we get Crystal Release. Um, we already had Terra Magico, but it's it's very useful. We already pulled the lever. It went down. I wonder if we do evasions up here. We cannot. Maybe if we go up top? No. So yeah, that's a really cool cave. Um, I'm really glad we did that. I'm never... that never gets old for me. Let's go to the four Belfries, uh, just to knock it off the list. Um, we already unlocked the first one. What's this? And this leads to the very beginning of the game. It leads to Precipice of Anticipation. Um, I think we'll do them in order, I guess. Like, I, I feel like they're both... I mean, they're items that I already have anyways, so we may as well do it in order. Rumbling lands. Crumbling, crumbling lands sounds like a, a location in uh, Adventure Time to me. This is a really cool place. Um, this is actually maybe the best view of it too, which is uh, nothing to. Oh, well, there's the view over there, but yeah, that's like too far away. Um, yeah, you know, between the synth music and the flying creatures. This has some Stranger Things Season 4 vibes to it. Um, but it also has much greater vibes than that, obviously. Like, just this crumbling city. Um, this is like... Like, I'm not sure where the city... See, this is what we're looking at. Crumbling from Azula. And... I don't know if this is where the city originally was. At all, you know? I just, I don't know. That's, uh... I, I should look that up. Because it, it feels like the city wasn't here. It feels like it was lifted from somewhere, you know? It could have been, and to think of where it belongs. I don't know if anyone's answered that yet. Kind of, yeah. It doesn't quite look like Lindell, and it, but it does look like this area. And we can actually go here to the Bestial Sanctum.
So, anyways, let's go out. Um, let's go to the Beastal Sanctum since it's kind of a good thing to compare. In fact, what are we looking at? I think we're like looking at the uh, isolated divine tower, but we're also looking at like other stuff. Oh, this place, um, we're not quite done here because we have to drop down. Imagine getting here and like, honestly, I don't, the first time I was here, I, I figured out that I needed to go down, but there's so much to see here that it's easy to like, maybe think, okay, well, you know, there's nowhere to go and just not go anywhere, or just jump off. It forces you to jump off in some direction, but we'll try and live through this area. Also, it will be really cool to get a taste of how difficult things will get. Um, this is New Game Plus, so these enemies are scaled to this area, and you don't unlock this area until the end of the game. So you get a taste of like how your build's doing, jumping in here. Um, I think we'll survive that. That was... Uh... We're not doing a lot of damage, but I mean, we're staggering them. That's why big heavy swords are a lot of fun, because you don't have to uh, wait in line to do damage. Oh, we did it. These are floating in midair. That's cool. That's one more drop down. A really good view of the city, the crumbling farm as well. That's uh, that's a really cool place. What's the, a pearl drake, pearl drake uh, talisman. I'm curious. Maybe we'll learn some lore about this area from this. The ancient dragons who ruled in the prehistoric era before the Earth Tree would protect their lord as a wall of living rock. And so it is that the shape of the dragon has become symbolic of all manners of protections. And so it is that. Okay, yeah. Um... So... These dragons are protecting their lord and Ferrum Lazula, and that's why the city is here. It's to act as like a difficult to reach base, I think. And for whatever reason, the way here is either A, through the, through magical means of uh, teleportation via the four belfries, or Uh, jumping in that cauldron over there, I think. Um, you go into that, you light it, and that grants you entry. So that's super, you know, that's super fucking coconuts, as they say, you know. Um, so yeah, I think we explored this, so. Uh, we can maybe teleport out, yeah. Um, let's go look at the Bestial Sanctum in comparison.
Silver Krayos, Dragon Barrow. Got this guy here. If we fight him, we'll die, probably. I'm willing to try it. For, if anyone ends up watching us on YouTube, um, the music will not be there. If I did everything right here. Bombark Seal, one of my favorite seals because it scales off mostly strength. Uh, I think it scales decently off faith too, but... Um, and also the Beast Eye, which is... I forgot that it was an eye. Uh, there's so much with eyes in this game. Like the Shabiri's Woe guides you to Grace, and the the Stone Eye guides you to Death Root. Um, which is kind of interesting. Inventory status. What are we looking for? Um, I put off the music to defeat him. Let's listen to our favorite our favorite boy talk about uh, stuff. Steel Sling and Overpowered Incantation, if you're very close to people. It's very comes out pretty fast, and you can build it to do quite a lot of damage for very low FP consumption. It's hard to punish it, unless they're spamming it. Steel of Vitality. Uh, just heal over time. Um, it's fine. I, I don't think it's worth the time using it at this point. I've used it a lot in the past, and honestly, it just it becomes a chore using it all the time. It doesn't do that much healing. Last death root. Roar. I should probably use this. I should probably equip this like right now. Cool. Uh, unfortunately, I can't because I'm being summoned to another world as a hunter. I remember to equip that new uh, crystal spell too. Um, everyone died. The end. Oh shit. So... <laughs> That's honestly funny the way this turns out. Gunkit is tough. He's like harder than Malekith in my opinion.
He fucks this place up too, for sure. Let's equip this. Holy shit, he can fuck me up for sure. You need to go out here. Sorry, buddy. You're, you're fucking me up too hard. Holy crap, I'm not doing much damage. Okay, um, he still counts as an enemy right now, so we can't fast travel, <laughs> and we can't walk, well, let's try, actually, now that he's not attacking us, maybe he'll let us, well. jumping could potentially hurt him, but, We should be able to just run around the corner, maybe. There is something we need to get over here. Um, this is Kaled. It's a, it's a it's a cool place. Everything is a cool place in Elden Ring, though. So I guess that's not saying a lot. This is where we need to drop down. So there's like items throughout this area, but there's only one item that's like actually important, and it's another drop down. Down required ahead exactly, but I don't think this is a good place to do it. Um, there's this actually this area like fucks me up every time because um, knowing where to drop is like tricky, and that wasn't it. And uh, I'm glad that we just put like. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're, our, our runes are stuck behind some platforming shenanigans. I'm going to equip the uh, new spells. Terra Magica, we still like. Rock Blaster! I want to land this. 
Reason Mist is kind of fun for zoning. Azula's Moonblade is... We haven't used it a lot. But I think it's a fun mix-up. Because if we got two big swords, why not pull out a third one that's even bigger, right? Um, Loretta's Great Bow is sort of for, is, is situational but useful. This we definitely should be using more um, because it's easy to like, you know, when someone gives you enough space to zone like that and there's a lot of open area around you, you can turn this on and just get free damage. Um, or at least free mix-up. Well, not free. You pay FP for it. Carry and piercer. We're definitely using more of the sword stuff than uh, I thought we would. I don't know if this is a good one because it might be good for people who are running away. So I want to try that. And then uh, let's see, Lucidity. I, I so doubt that we would use this. It's low FP cost, which is nice. Um, I mean, someone put us to sleep earlier, but I don't think we could have used this. I think we talked about that last time, too. Eternal Darkness. That could definitely be useful for... A, but it's, it's, it's a weird one to equip. Usually you can just dodge spells. Here we are talking about how useful spells are, and then we're like, oh, spells are going to get by spells. This is a big FP. Um, like, and we're definitely... This is what we were looking at. Crystal release. Requires 41 intelligence. Oh, 40, yeah, 41. Crystal torrent. Crystal release seems cool, but it's very high FP usage, and we're not smart enough yet. We will be, though. Uh, Zammer Ice Storm, though. I am equipping. It's cool. We haven't gotten it yet in this playthrough, but I'm a fan of it. It's actually kind of terrible in PvP, but um, if you can, if you can kind of lock someone in a corner or something, you can just lay on it, and we might have enough FP to make it decent. It is. It does suck your FP dry though. Or something that isn't that great. Well, it's pretty good. In the right situation. We gotta go down. Let's get that music back. And we got the dialogue out of the way. Stepping on trees. Three, four, five. I don't have another run. Um, yeah, we gotta keep going down. Our, our runes are down here. We wanna get them. We don't deserve them, but we, we can have them. And that's a bummer. Because last time. 
Last time this screwed us up. Is there another way down? Do we do we roll down this way? Or let's see if uh, we'll survive. We'll survive if we land on that stupid thing. But what about the thing that's uh? Yeah, we'll survive. Cool. Take it. I love those rocks. We should be dropping them everywhere. Uh, we're still running cold, which is why we weren't seeing as much damage, I think, with the people who were invading, but... Uh, that's okay. It's a big jump, so just eye in it. Uh, the song that just ended, I had there was, I'm, I just kind of ended. It felt like, or did it? Because the next song sounds the same. Um, I hope we're not missing any items, but. If we do, I'm probably not coming back for them unless it's the important one. This does feel like cr crumbling Azula a little bit though. Or, I mean, more than just a little bit. This is where we're supposed to go. I think we can go down wherever, it's just kind of want to take a look around, murder some bats, or whatever they're called. I don't know if this game has like a bestiary, uh, like a, I think it does, uh, inventory, info. general info that doesn't have specific yeah they don't do that in this game This is an okay spot to do it. I don't think there's a wrong place. It's so crazy too, like a lot of people, you know, a lot of games are built to make you think that like jumping around on stuff like this isn't supposed to be done, you know, because like there's barely anywhere to stand here. And a lot of games, that's a way of them communicating that like, hey, this is like not an actual platform, you know, you're not supposed to stand here. Uh, with Elden Ring, that is definitely not the case, and I love I love that about it. Um, they're like, hey, uh, you're gonna have to walk in some weird spots. That breaks. That's not good. Is there like a way we can kind of see how? Yeah. Wow. Still breaking. How do we get down then? Are we supposed to jump around the corner here? Or are we supposed to jump across? I think we can make that. Ooh, there's nowhere to stand there. So something fo feels like uh Like, do we jump around the pillar? I don't think so. Well, here we're doing it. I don't know if that's how we're supposed to do it. Like, I feel like there's maybe a spot that you drop down to. But we can drop here. Pretty sure. Yeah. 
lost a lot of health, but... Well, we had to come down here. I'm going to look around to see if there's another way down, though. Dragon Crest Shield Talisman. Huh. That makes sense. I mean, we did just come from Paramazula, and there was that's Dragon Town, and this this looks like Dragon Town too. And honestly, there are dragons nearby. Here there be dragons. I forget what that reference is, but. Um. over here before we progress. Yeah, um, so there's, it, it kind of looks like possibly the only way is just to like, maybe, oh, I see. See, we dropped, we made a mistake, but we fixed it, so... We were on that ledge to the right, that's below, or, you know, on the right wall, we were on that ledge below the, below that arc, you know, but we're really supposed to stand on top of that arc, I believe, and drop down to the left, and that is the correct way down. That way you don't, uh, just fucking die, or you, or you, follow that this, that ledge and jump around pillars but that is sort of like that would be hard that could be hard to figure out I don't think I used a guide to get down here the first time but I also think I did it the way I just did it I never figured out the correct way um, although that looks like a hard jump to make from the arch to the left so Syncadia, I think. I forgot how it's pronounced. I've heard people say it before. Um, now we got two of them, which is fun. I, uh, I It would be fun to do a build around this because... They're strength daggers, you know? What's not what to love about that? But their main reason to equip them is that they boost... Uh, but be still incantations and so having two of them doesn't you know isn't necessarily great unless I mean it's not terrible actually yeah it would be it would be fun so short sword given to the high ranking clergyman of Frere Missoula raises potency of be still incantations uh, the design cell Braids a beast's five fingers, symbolic of the intelligence once granted upon their kind. Um, which is also very cool. Can't wait till we grant intelligence to the animals of this world. Or, you know, wouldn't that be, wouldn't that be cool if like, we figured out how to make animals smarter? And then they could just, you know... Then they could basically have a voice you know they don't have the voice now aside from just a few people trying to help so um let's take a look that is the isolated divine tower very special tower it's easy to forget about. And that waterfall is like huge. So. And I would guess that that tower is perhaps like all the space here might, might be 
might have originally been like this, filled by this. You know, Paramazula may have been over here and then it got uprooted and sent here. Um, which would explain why the tower is like the tower would have been connected. Um, or at least it may have been adjacent to it, right? Like kind of over here where it connected along here. Because we got this ripple here. That might just be a coincidence. But then this is the whole like spiral. So, um, and actually, let's see if we can even see it. Wish we could ride Torrent. Oh, we can. Cool. Well, let's see if we can see that. Let's get the telescope out. And we even have this. Like, maybe this connects to a particular place in Paramazula that we can spot. Uh... We can walk over there, that might... But the, the spiral is that way. I don't see anything that resembles that out there. But it doesn't mean that there isn't some association here with Paramazula. Okay. Um, we're done. Also, my my music shut off. I don't know how I feel about this song. Let's just skip it. Honestly, this Twitch player is kind of glitchy, so we'll see how long we use it. But yeah, it's already fucked up. Let's close it. Well, with that being said, um, usually I would go to a BRB screen. I don't think I'm going to be that long, though. Um, so I'm just going to make a sandwich real quick, and I'll be right back.
Okay, I'm back. Time to take BRB off the screen. <clears throat> I got my sandwich, peanut butter and jelly. Um, yeah. I'm all back, I'm ready to go. Now we finished getting our dagger here. Um, but this was just a brief a brief step into the Beastial Sanctum. Because uh, this isn't where we're really, uh, like we were supposed to talk to him. And honestly, if we want to fight this guy, we can try, but we're probably going to die. So I'm going to, um, maybe just going to level up first. Keep things interesting. We'll see how we do with invaders on top of it. Well, that didn't work. Oh, yeah, this is gonna be tough. And my monitor is uh, turning red as we speak because it's getting late. Um, but I'm gonna be on for a while. So it's just a little disorienting when it first changes. I'm lucky I survived that. Um. Oh, that was so slow! Good game. I'm going to try it one more time. Jess, welcome. I almost kind of staggered them there a little bit. Which is interesting, like it wasn't a stun. That's a really cool attack. That was a big miss. I think I can beat them. I know that I'm getting demolished, but... Try with some juice. It's the same move there. Oh, geez. I got more worried. Oh, geez. <laughs> I got more worried about my stamina there than my health, and that was a huge mistake because I've got a ton of stamina. Which is why I use this flask. It's so good. Oh, 
was a big stab. Oh, 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 we're doing really well this fight. Attack, Big attacks are easy to punish. Doesn't he know? Oh, oh no. Okay. It's definitely a fight where you make him come to you. Because <laughs> he will come to you. I'm gonna kill again. Well, taste of his own AoE action. a lot of runes gargoyles black blade i've i've heard this isn't great but it looks cool and the albert as well two weapons two weapons but only i was gonna say only one raccoon but uh, it looks like we have two raccoons uh thanks to jess jess is counting two raccoons so that's the official count I'm not one to argue with that. Well, In the spirit of doing things in order, we're going to rewind quite a ways. Um, we are done with, with um, Rhea Lucaria, which was uh, kind of faster than I thought it would be. When you know what to do here, it goes by pretty fast. When you don't know what to do here, it, you could spend quite a long time here, um, which I think is great because like, it just, it's just fun, you know? We're gonna go over here. So this part of the game, when I got here, I had no idea what to expect.
So yeah, the first time I rode this elevator, I was just so amazed at the, the scale of this place. I was just like, it's jaw dropping to drop to take this elevator for the first time. And uh, having never played like a Souls game or anything like that, it's just like, it was so cool. That's definitely another top five moment in this game. I did come here earlier though, um, to get the Sights of Grace and to, um, I had to open up the, we'll go there, but yeah, I'll show you. And I guess the Sight of Grace, yeah, it's right here. So I already touched it. But I did not do anything else here. Yeah, we forgot to uh, turn on Tantra's tongue. Or I did. These guys could definitely murder me if they ganged up on me. Their weapons are pretty cool too. Honestly, I, I should try and make a build with them. Um, I don't know if they're any good, but they look cool. I was talk of builds and I haven't done one build besides this one the entire game. That's gotta change at some point. But I, I do like to build around Arena, I hope. Um, I'm hoping I'm getting to the ideal level for doing that without any delays. But I still gotta get the next Colosseum unlocked. And that takes quite a while if you're doing everything in order. Which is kind of becoming a problem, actually. But. It just means I need to play more, right? they enjoyed that. Oh, well, they got me there. Out of stamina. the spacing for that. Oh, 
Oh, that was close. He keeps going for that jump attack, and like, I don't think he's gonna get me with it. Oh, and he's going for me still. I'm sure we'll see them again. I'm all alone here. This is might get tough. He's got some higher ground. <laughs> Beautiful. Take the fight where you want it, right? That's what. Uh, oh, this guy's twin blade is doing a lot of damage. That's giving me a a heal. At what cost, though? Yeah, at that cost. That's the guy that we had to worry about for sure. That was fun. That was a powerful twin blade. Oh no, we didn't touch the side of grace. <laughs> yeah, let's uh Well we did, but Okay. Thank god everything stayed in memory. Down here. I just want to get my runes first. That's what I need to do. That's uh, we're, we're almost at a level up again. Jess, I'm curious what you think about this. Um, this Twitch music. I'm using Twitch music that is um, streamer friendly, and it seems like fine. I wish I could stream like whatever, you know, but definitely can't do that. Just, you know, I would stream whatever music, but the copyright stuff, you know. Oh, someone has something to say to about <laughs> me doing what I was doing there. Oh, these guys are serious. This isn't even hard mode yet. Yeah, four. Oh, I thought we got all of them. This guy cast a bubble on us.
can see them yet. Already healing, okay. I'm surprised they're doing that. Because, uh. They're not showing us the respect we deserve. Now they're waiting a minute. Oh, they got that blade build up though. Really surprised I didn't land. We're doing. Uh, we got one cold proc off on them, and they uh, once again they didn't respect. They they thought they could power through us. The bloody finger all censored. Just died. Okay, that's good to know, Jess. Uh oh, we have another invader. Yeah, I hope it, I hope it's at least decent music. I think it's okay. Hey. This guy, I already can tell from what he's got equipped. This is going to be a very difficult fight. Cut that. That's a fun spell. That's a, I didn't know you could uh, walk around while you were holding that. What's this guy doing? He's switching. He's switching his uh, equip equipment. Or he's having connection issues. Very confident if he thinks that he should be waiting to fight me. Oh, we're gonna let them fight for a second. Let's get this item over here. We'll be back here in a minute, so. We have another invader though, it's gonna help with that. No, it's another hunter. Okay. Definitely not gonna help now. So we gotta go up here, and it would be really fun to use this as an excuse to jump down from above. One of our friends just died. Thank you for your service, uh, Roxas. Sorry I didn't help. I just I had to jump up here, you know. Let's also let's let's, let's equip this. Are there an enemy? I just saw them. I did not mean to do that. There we go. Ooh. 
That's not better. Oh, they're trying to shoot that big one at us. Or at someone else. I hope they're enjoying fighting here, because I am. Looks like they're dead now. I think we'll drop down in a second. This is not very nice of me, but it's fun. It's very delayed there. I'll heal. I didn't burn up, but... Oh shit. Tracking. I shouldn't be, um... Doing what I'm doing. I'm glad I could figure that out. But they, they got the heal in. Oh no! <laughs> Good, I didn't die. I didn't even mean to do that. Smart of them to take that route. I just want to get around the corner here. Goodbye. Oh, they got me with it! Oh no! <laughs> That's scary. Oh no, I can't do that, I get itched my nose. I'm almost itched. Oh, they 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 know my trick now, and their trick is just being good. So I don't know how I'm gonna survive this. <laughs> I can't. That is a win. That was funny. I'm surprised I survived that. I keep getting punished for my heals. But I keep barely making it too, so. Deep, very deep bow for this player. That was a big fight. Uh, they they probably deserve to win even, but I'm gonna go ahead and say that my itchy nose helped balance things out in their favor. Um, but very good game, and thank you for thank you Elden Ring guy for helping. Um, I don't have my Twitch username and my name synchronized in this game. I don't know if there's enough room for Spyro the Hedgehog and then T. TS, I think is what people do, or some something like TTB is what they do, yeah. Ooh. 
we have six more healing flasks, so we should be able to handle like one more invasion before we touch sight, before we touch grace. That's like mostly a like a dirt bike turn. Oh geez, that's a big move. See if we can uh, outreach them with this. I think we can. Oh, he's gonna try and punish us for doing that. Uh, lightning, yeah, that'll end this pretty quickly. I'm in water too. Oh, damn. Oh, I deserve that. I should have known! I had a hunter on the way to help, too. Very good fight. I haven't fought, um... I haven't fought people with lances that much. So, almost every time I fight someone with a lance, they beat me. Um, which is... So I gotta, I just gotta learn, you know. Hopefully you don't lose them. Hello, Snack Station. I didn't notice you. Um, how's it going? I, uh... Sorry, I'm... I'm... Uh, that, that battle was very intense. Yeah, yeah I'm in gamer mode. Between the, the gamer synth music and, um... You know, anytime I play a PvP game and like the battle gets intense, like I, I definitely lose myself in the fight. Beast liver. I don't know why this guy has beast liver. for the gamer feel. Oh, um, yeah, lots of... The crabs are weak to frost, is what we discovered. And um, to cold damage, it seems. Yeah. It's, it's kind of nice not having too many, like, I don't have, like, too much pressure 
when I'm streaming because there's not, you know, like I don't have like a big audience. So um, I definitely feel like it's easier to step away to like grab food and stuff at this stage. But if I had, you know, I still try not to though. Like I, I have a BRB screen set up finally. Am I? It doesn't feel like it. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think I'm halfway until I get people who are watching more consistently because that's, I feel like some of the, um, some of the landmarks are harder than like the 50 follower one. Oh, three? Okay. Well, that's still a lot. <laughs> my average my average viewership is like probably one. I like to surprise people with that one. Oh, they're using that? Okay, this will be a fun fight. I don't know why. I don't think I needed this flask, but... Oh, they're... They're teleporting. Why did they do that? Why would they use their flask if they're just gonna teleport? Because they're, they're, all their buffs disappear when they do that. Because they want the surprise, you know. So now I gotta watch my back. But they didn't leave completely. <laughs> I love when there's another caster on my side. Cause it's just it just feels funny to see magic just like a barrage of magic. Oh good game. Sorry buddy. I don't know if I said hello in time. I have a lot of runes now. Is that their fire? I didn't see who cast that. I think it was theirs, yeah. self pause summon. I don't think we need help from a hunter, but... Oh, good game. I'll bow for this guy. Even though... <laughs> they're doing that. That's a deer. It's also one of these. These things, um... For like the first 200 or 300 hours that I played this game, I, I didn't know how to survive these. I just assumed that as, as soon as I ran into them that I was dead. But like anything in this game, you just kind of run. You can survive. We still have invasions turned on.
and the deer had some weak ass bones. Thin, thin beast bones? That's some weak. That's weak. Those kinds of bones. Level up. Oh, I'm not gonna level up. I'm just gonna keep going. Well, let me ask excess degrees. Another weak boned deer. I don't know if it, I don't know if the deer can drop heavy beast bones, but I think it'd be funny if they could. I think that some of them should be able to. Brains. I think it's really interesting that they kind of name this spot because it's just like such a such a small area to name but it matters because of this moose that we can't fight yet I don't know why I came over but we can look at the uh... look at the stars we can also We can also uh, gaslight this person into thinking that this is right in front of. There we go. Uh oh, I think they saw us do that. I'm not sure. I'm I'm pretty sure actually. At least we'll have a little bit of a jump. They got a blade build. Switching to the blood boluses now. Uh, they're jumping onto that Ash of War a little early. <laughs> Fun, good game. I think they saw that. Thank you. Surprised me. I forgot that they came in a group that just just appears in your face. The horn bow. A lot of um, deer themed items in this area. Interesting. I don't think I've ever gotten this. In fact, uh, I feel like they're not going to be able to find us if we... Is good. I don't think we're gonna hide every time, but especially, I don't know, it's just we're in an area or in a spot where like I kind of wonder what will happen if we surprise them.
I wish I drank my flask before this, though. Got Homo with us. I think I'll head out, actually. I don't, I don't like, uh, if I don't know where at least they could be, I don't want them to have to wait. And especially because invaders sometimes wait for you to come. They'll, they'll disguise themselves. I'd rather play through. It would be fun to do invasions and use the mimic tier, so, or the mimic uh, veil thing. Because there are a lot of invaders that depend on like the surrounding enemies to help them fight, and I think that's completely fair. Yeah. But I also don't want to get interrupted talking to the line. Talk to Blight afterwards. Our precious doggo. Oh, we can't use this jump pad because we can't get on Torrent. So we'll go over here. Some more people with thin bones. I think that guy just died to a to an NPC because the invader is behind me. Oh, good hit. I'm tempted to run this one out. This guy's being very aggressive though, and I think uh, we'll be able to fix that problem that he has with, with aggression. Oh, good step though. I'm out! I'm out of flasks. This is bad. I need my hunter buddy to come, or else I'm I'm screwed. He got me with that. Uh oh, we jumped over him. Oh. <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna die here. Oh my god, I did it. Uh, where's my... <laughs> there we go. Oh shit. Oh no. I'm not... I can't die to these guys. Why am I not... I am healing. <laughs> Good game. I wish I could have stayed alive. For them but I was I was out of juice out of healing juice I don't know how I was out that's three three dead raccoons exactly all right so um, I'm gonna go pick up my runes and get the closer side of grace um, this teleporter lets you skip ahead just like to like kind of over here but um in fact well yeah i don't think i'll take it because i think my runes are a little closer than that yeah over here
there's a reason to kill this flower. But it is in a peculiar spot. So. We'll use that as a reason. Uh oh, Sugar Walls is coming in. Oh, they're using lightning. I'm gonna take an early heal. I can keep the boluses out. Oh, good hit. Level spotting them. We're moving around. Again. Time. Getting laggy because the hunter is coming. There we go, it's cleared up. fighting in this particular spot. They're, they're, um, that does chip, good chip out damage, but they were very close to me, so, like, it didn't do as much as maybe I think they hoped. I do have a good armor let, um, set up here. I need to not lock on. Surprised they went for that. Yes, that was a good hit. Oh, we have two invaders. Okay, this guy's better. Oh, that was lucky. Got me there too. Oh, when the octopus is joining in? That's... Yes, we got him. Oh, I'm out, I'm out of juice though. So. Oh, that's my buddy with the bubble. Okay. They have a lot of health. They have a lot of health. They have so much health. I don't know what we're gonna do about that, because... Oh, we have six more flasks, so... I think I thought it was out of flasks the other... earlier. This guy's like one hit away from getting me. And he's laggy. But he had a lot of health too, so... I'm impressed with how much health he had. Maybe he was using the... Um, was he using? I think he was using the the Dragon Crest Talisman and probably on top of that like the Pearl Drake or maybe even some people item swap on the fly so he may have seen that I was doing magic and swap to this but I kind of doubt it. Most people would just equip this. 
um, I would just equip it and, you know, not think about it. But yeah, that guy was good. Thank you for the octopus, Jess. Um, I'm really glad that the octopus joined in the fight. Although they didn't help me out, so I think that would help a little bit more. Definitely earning runes faster because of this. Torrent for now. I love, I love the waterfalls in this game. Even though they're not like especially... Like they're not... Um, like tech-wise, you know. They're not necessarily that impressive, but they're... I just think they're cool. Um, I think the music stopped on its own, which was good timing. We're gonna talk to him. Customer. And buy some soap. Marvel tier. Might as well buy these too. Chotel. I'm sure we've got plenty of those, but. Let's buy these too. I think that these are used to make uh, sleeping pots. He's friendly. I don't think we're ever going to come back though, I'm sorry. Hefty beast bone. This is what I was hoping we would see with the deer. None of the deer we fought um, had hefty beast bones. They all had the, the other type. Oh, and the only way out is down through there. Okay. As soon as we drop down there, we're going to have to start looking out for our invader.
Hunter Moon, I think we saw them earlier. Uh, that's our second invader. We now have two invaders. I just saw one for a moment. Oh, that's a big fireball. Where's our friend? They just... They just shot a fireball at us, and now I don't know where they're at. Oh, there's one there. They're running the wrong way, though. Oh, and they have the fireball. Okay. And Dada, I don't know if we fought these them yet. Gotta respect the Garonk's uh, stones. That thing too, that's no that's uh, no laughing matter. Although I don't think it would do that much damage to us. Oh, they're fighting each other. Thank you. because I think we have a hunter joining. I like how it's targeting the, uh, the, the little rabbit over there. Really surprised they hit me with that, but it's got a wide area of effect. This could be it. Yeah. Oh, I got a little cocky. I thought that the enemies might help keep them away from me, but... I think at some point, too, I'm going to have to get used to, like fighting people as I go, you know? Um, because I do enjoy having people invade, but I keep dropping everything to fight them, which is okay to do, especially if there's like two people on you. Or maybe especially, I don't know. That was a fun fight either way though, but. We do also have to progress in the game. And, uh, while we're at this sort of crossroads, um, let's go talk to Blyd. Our favorite. Oh, oh, we'll talk to Blyd in a second. Twitch, Twitch music player hasn't been working great, so I'm just going to close that tab real quick. But next time I'll have some other music queued up, maybe.
to see you. Apologies, mate. But I don't have much to report. I can see bloody knock-on right above me. But I'm absolutely stumped. I've tried all the gateways, to no avail. Perhaps it's time to ask Selen this. I recall that spiteful little rat acting like he knew something. Let's give him a squeeze. Show him just how sharp my teeth are. I jest. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. Besides, uh, I should check on some things here. Leave this place to me. You just do what you feel is right. If either of us learned anything, we tell the other. Right? Leave this place to me. If either of us learns... And if we reach a dead end, I suppose we go back to the source. Celebus rarely gives a straight answer. The first time. The Blight wants us to talk to Celebus to show him how sharp his teeth are. Um, but Blight, I think in order for me to convey that, I need you to show me how sharp your teeth are. Otherwise, how am I going to convey that to Celebus? Like, I'm not going to know unless you just show me, you know? So, checkmate. Um, that's all that Blight has to tell us for right now. That sword is really cool. Um, we definitely got to use that sword at some point and upgrade it. Uh, also, while we're not invading, let's use this portal or this jump pad. Stone sword key. We have an area to go to over there, but uh, we can't get there until um, later on. But I just, you know, it is a cool area. It's very scenic. Ooh, that was close. Um, it's usually wise to try, like, if you can handle torrent to use torrent in these sections, because if you accidentally walk off, you get a you get a second jump to save yourself. And if you mess up as the player character, you just die, probably. So we're trying to make our way forward. I think I'll um, start summoning more people once we get to the next side of Grace. Let's take a small break from the invasions. We already covered this area anyways. Trying to get behind this person, can't do it.
I'm surprised we survived that. So many animals. Sorry. It's just it's it's <laughs> it's hard not to when they're just like grouped up like that. Creatures of the forest gathering. What are they saying? What are they talking about? Is it a book club? Is it, what is it? So we're at a side of grace. Let's use it. Immediate invasion, okay. Egg. It's egg time. I'm excited. This is gonna be a good fight, I hope, because of their egg. How could it not be? Square off? I'm surprised they, they let me do what I wanted there. Oh, I guess I can't hit them when they're on the ground like that. Oh. We cracked that egg, and I wish them well. They were good. They were a good fight. That bubble thing, though, for uh, invasions, it's not great. It's it's not a it's not recommended. Almost died to the rats. I had an easier time fighting the invader than the rats. So all these pyres that we're lighting, I believe that's what, I hope that's what they're called. Um, they, we need to light all of them in order to fight that, to go back to that moose and activate, activate the moose. I don't know if that's the right terminology, but it sounds cooler, you know, like if you need to activate a moose, that sounds good. Leads. Try 
interesting. This is so bizarre. This feels like a place where, like, there should be a secret wall, maybe, you know? Um, but it's just some guy. Yeah, I think we're good here. Oh, well, not quite. We gotta go up here. Hello. I think they were hoping to to shoot me. I think they didn't know where I was. Oh, they got fist. I should be afraid. I'm surprised I didn't get that. Oh, uh, that would have been great. That only works once. We could kill me here for sure, especially if I don't dodge this blade. Yep, there he goes. Good game though. The fists are definitely tough to fight against. Um, a lot of people um, are building around it now because they don't require quite as much endurance. They do quite, they got buffed recently, so they're very good. And here's the teleporter I was talking about earlier. This leads back to where we were earlier.
now that we're caught up, let's uh, enable this, I think, again. Um, I think if someone invades us in the next section, we're going to get really beat really badly because um, of all these archers. Did I like this? No, I did not. did it. Uh, I've got a side of grace here. I already got it. But... Oh, I didn't already get it. Interesting. Let's go ahead and level up again. Um, I probably should be careful with some of my last points because I know I know I wanted to use, like, go up to level 52 on the magic, so that I, you know, level 137, the rest of the points go into magic, but um, if I want to try other builds, like, there's a chance I'm going to need, like, decks, uh, without respecking at least. Clarifying Horn Charm. I don't know where that is. Here it is. Said to be a budding horn, the ancestral followers believe that the horns of a long-lived beast continue to bud like antlers over and over again until the beast one day becomes an ancestral spirit. So... As long as those keep sprouting from the ground, their spirit will rise, or something like that. But it's been a very long time, and uh, what's happened, you know? I feel like uh, Arya. I wonder if this is a cosplay build around that uh, Game of Thrones character named Arya. I think that's her name. If so, then maybe we should summon someone. We got a bleed up. That's a really bad jump. Oh boy. They may be able to break my poise for every one of their attacks. Possibly. That was close. We got a moon veil on us or something. I don't know where that came from. Watch this guy just beat us. Oh, I did not mean to do this. 
Okay, let's do this, let's do this, do this. This and that. Oh boy. Dude, this guy is doing more t I mean, than me. There we go. Fuck me up there. Oh, one shot. Getting a wipe. Get a healing flask back for that. I feel bad because I feel like lag contributed to their death, but I, mean, I guess we can blame that on Arya. But is that out of both of them? Um, good game. That's a fun costume. I have no idea what they're wearing. It looks it looks good. No complaints there with that fight. I'm sure they may have had some complaints though, because it did get laggy for a minute. I really want to try Rock Blaster though. So here we go. Elevator. This elevator has some turbulence to it. So Blyde wanted us to go back and talk to... what's their name? Um, the wizard guy. The guy who's kind of like a piece of shit, but I think he's funny as hell. Uh, he's he's got he's got some wit to him, I guess. It'd be nice to talk to him again, of course. After we get demolished by this bear. Oh, cropped him though. So somebody did invade us while we were fighting the bear. I don't want to go over here. 
Never tried to get on top of this building. The crazy dum dum came to help us. Hey! I'm gonna set high. You're gonna let him. You're gonna let him follow me. You're gonna have to catch up, Bill Evans. I don't know who Bill Evans is or what that's a reference to. I also think it's kind of funny that maybe that guy is getting exploded by those. No, it doesn't look like it. This is Nick Fed. He got hit by that too, but he didn't get damaged by it. He's got the knockback. Choke your files. Okay. Uh oh. That's <laughs> like. That's brutal, that build up. I gotta put in the jump attacks. I'm surprised he hit me there. We don't get out for the hunter. I think we're done. Nope, we're good. Let's let's try and mix it up here. Have we been hitting them with two swords? I think we have. They're running now. You know, I, I, I'm underestimating these guys because usually I'm on horseback. Got some something back, some kind of flask back or something. Oh, that doesn't even work. Oh, they have quick stuff or blood pin stuff. more flasks, so I think we're getting that. I hit him. Can't ignore me. Targeting my friend. They're waiting. I think that I, think, I don't think they want to kill me first. I think they want to kill my friend because they don't think I'll survive, or they just want more fight. You know, it's not that they don't think I can handle it. I used to do the same thing when I was invading. Got cold on them again.
they're definitely never gonna fall for that. I should stop doing that. And another bloody finger though. That's tough. So now it's 2v1 here. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of funny. Am I trying to sneak up on me or they might just hide until I beat this person? Fuck, that's not good. That's the fuck off, I need space button. <laughs> To kill this guy. Or just fight over here. That might be better. Oh no! They got fire breath? That's not good. Oh, they can hit through that! Holy shit! They threaded the needle. <laughs> That's fun. I'm glad that worked out that way. Bill Evans, though, he's a force to be raccooned with. You can't even sleep on me though. I don't know what to do about that sleep. I don't know what I could um, too though. Oh, that was so close! Yes. Oh, oh, oh my god, that was such a great fight. Good, good work. I, I could dodge that though. <laughs> good enough. Time to kill this guy. He's done enough damage to us. I'm very... I'm, I'm thrilled that I survived that fight. That feels like... I feel like I've hit a milestone as far as PvP goes in this game. But maybe it's because this build is just very powerful too. Um, their, their build was pretty... I think pretty... Um, pretty humble, you know? It wasn't like a broken build. Uh, and they were doing quite well with it. And here they are again. This time they're gonna probably... This might be it this time. I do know where they are. I also don't know why we stopped getting hunters. That's in work. This guy respects now though, but I think he's gonna beat me pretty quickly. He's got me um He almost got a backstab there. Oh yeah. Now he's playing it way more aggressive though. He's got me. I don't know why he did that. He had me. Beautiful. I still think this guy should have beat me. Both times. 
but they didn't. So there is something to do here, and it involves what we're doing now. Um, we have to talk to this guy. They do a little jiggle for us. You can now see the Knight of the Great Jar's red summon sign. So well, there's these three summon signs here. Um, I'm going to turn... I think it turned it off for us. We have the Knight of the Great Jar. We have the... Oh, they're all the Knight of the Great Jar. And these are all uh, player characters, but they're controlled by NPCs. So people who come here and fight the Jar, they get inducted into the, this Hall of Fame, basically. So if I beat these guys, then I can I can be enshrined in here forever. Pretty sure. I did that too early. I did it too early. Moke's spear is kind of used to be broken, and then they nerfed it. And I gotta tell you, the first time I fought these these guys uh, was intimidating because they're player characters. And they're hard. Do I get a health kit from that? No, I do not. Okay, I have five more health. And I have one more HP flask. Oh, this guy's B2. It's a very beefy, holy shit. But we're beefing a little bit. They're just, I think they're good against damage magic. Or magic damage. And again, it's controlled by a, con a, a computer, an NPC. But I think it might. I mean, you know, it has everything they had equipped with it. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, that was tough. Well, we'll get there. There is a way to cheese this, but because I've already cheesed it in the past and I already have the item, it's, it's, it's possibly the most valuable item in the game. Um, so, like, I want to fight this one for real. You know, I've never, I've never, um, never done it this way. Well, maybe I did once, but. See, this gets much easier on horseback, or on oxback. So you can just make them shoot the wrong way. Kind of kite their shots, I guess. I even know what path I take. Because <laughs> so I've, I've walked, or I've r ridden up this mountain many times, because there is no set of grace up here. We are going to fight them, but I'm going to take a small break. I got to put something down. Then I will play a previous 
play through for the moment. I'll probably be about five or ten minutes though. Um, but thanks for watching so far, um, and thanks again, Jess, for the support. Um, I, you know, I will. Um, I'll be right back. I'll, I'll set my BRB screen and get some content playing. A little bit longer than I thought it would, but... There we go. Yeah, it's just I wasn't matchmaking. Uh, my VPN tends to make minimize matchmaking. I feel like people should be invading this. Oh, there's something up here. Thought frost falluses. Um, I do think it's interesting that these guys are over here. Is there an ever jail over here? There is. Wow. I don't even know if I knew about this. Maybe I did. Maybe I just. I don't know. This this game has always has surprises. We'll we'll enter the Ever Jail after I check up here because I honestly, this whole little corner up here seems like I don't recognize it. Also, hopefully my stream is still smooth. Um, I'm looking over at the bitrate counter and it's in the red. It wasn't in the red until I switched off my VPN. So I'm hoping that's, um, I may have to restart the stream again if it's a problem. But if, it's, if it looks fine, then, you know, Hopefully we can keep it rolling. Does it look okay to you, Tempest? Okay. Yeah, I'll take... That's a good sign, then. Um, we cannot enter the Ever Jail because we're luring in invaders, so... I guess I'll stop, even though I just started. Oh dang, they even, uh, we had an invader coming in. Field is very effective against this boss, so it's, it's good to see a boss where it's effective. 
except for then. You can just stagger this boss though, so. You know, I didn't, I didn't catch the name of uh, who that was. It's the Royal Grave Everjail. I didn't catch the name, but... So that was yet another fight where I forgot to use my flask. Very, I don't think I've ever really looked over in this direction because this is like the only place, let's see over there. Yeah, this is like the only place that you can look over at what's going on here. Um, Interesting. Such a w weird structure. I think what's interesting about this world is that not only are like the buildings decrepit and falling apart, like every part of the world is just like falling apart in its own ways. Like what, what, you know, the geology here is just like, um, like. It looks like the type of thing that you would see if, like, in a world where, like, things are not right, <laughs> you know? Um, in a world where, like, gravestones are everywhere. <laughs> and, uh, so it looks like we got a friend, an invader. Joe Mama, oh man. Such a funny name. I think it's almost funny because of how like, um, like how I'm, you know, it's like how tropey Joe Mama is at this point. I really hope that wasn't an important thing. The scarab. Hey! Oh, someone just said hi. There they are. They're trying to parry me. Oh, they got me. That's good reach. That was good. Good try. Oh, I'm lucky they didn't get me with that. They probably should have. Oh, 
I'm surprised I did not run that. Sometimes I wonder if the difference between me being good and great at PvP is uh, is my PlayStation controller being wireless, because <laughs> I think it adds some input lag, but not that much. It's enough that like sometimes I feel like it might be making a difference. Oh, we have two invaders. Oh, a moon veil user. Okay. <laughs> that was funny. Hit us. Oh, they got us with that too. And that, jeez. <laughs> They're out of FP. Are you gonna get to drink it? Oh. We got him. That was close. I'm glad that this guy that helped us got uh, took care of Joe Mama because uh, Joe Mama knew what they were doing. This other person we fought wasn't <laughs> as good as Joe Mama. And then Hunter Hari, thank you. Oh yeah, and um, have a good one, Tempest. Sorry if I missed you there. Minty dog. Oh yeah, yeah. Thank you, Tempest. Um, it'll be good to see you soon. And thanks again for stopping by. It's always great to see you and have you. We got invaded again. We have an invader somewhere. Do not know where. But I'm gonna keep going. Because we have places to go. They can follow us. They'll be able to find us. They get to see where we are on their compass at all times, whereas we do not know where they are. I think what's interesting is like if we were to hide like right here, they could accidentally pass us up. Although it'd be hard to not spot this, so I don't know. Do you think that would work? Do you think that looks like part of the game design? Maybe put it over here. There's a lot of enemies that like die like looking out at the horizon, you know. Yeah, people get thrown off by that, like, but. We are also right in a spot where if they wanted to attack us, they could start attacking from up there and just like get a free hit here. We have two hunters to aid us. Part of me wonders though, like the, the invader may not have even spawned up there, they may have spawned down here. Um, this game can do both, but seeing as hunters are up there, oh, 
Oh, there's something happening. There's Lisa. You're tearing me apart, Lisa. They also could maybe hit us with a spell from up there, but they can't target us, so I think that would be very difficult. And then, yeah, we can just jump down from here, though. And Lisa's about to die, so... Oh, this was... Oh, they killed each other. Well, yeah, I, I usually wouldn't wait for that. I don't think I'll do that very often. Rest in pastrami. Rest in an Italian sub. Here's another doll, which is peculiar, isn't it? Um, and here's a friend. It's a uh, Remethius, I think. <laughs> Hello everybody. I'm I'm Rack. Um gonna shut off this this pod here. Thank you for thank you for sticking around. Um appreciate it. Um So, back to Elden Ring. I think my controller shut off. Uh, I hope I don't have to restart the game. A little bit of lag there. Everything seems to be working. You get a little bit of lag getting back into it, but... Uh, I got everything I need in the oven, so it's time to game. See if anybody wants to yeah, that'll be good. Um, so our goal is to fight these three bozos, these these other players that probably got some crazy builds going on that are better than ours. Um, one thing we should have done at the last side of Grace is equip the Roar um, Ashivore for our second hand here uh, as a mix-up, even though, you know, we're not fighting against real players, but 
uh, having a ranged option is still nice, and my current ranged option is not good. Uh, the one nice thing, though, <laughs> is that we should be able to use Terra Magica without any problem with these, with the CPU. And so, uh, it's still going to be tough, though. And honestly, um, uh oh, my gyro is messed up big time right now. Yeah, I'm gonna have to dang it. was a big damage. Shit. Tried to heal him then I That's a big damage one. Very good. I'll take it. Didn't even have to use our Stamina Flask, but we should use it for this next fight. Um, also, I'm fighting standing up. I have a standing desk. Sometimes it stands, sometimes it sits. Uh, I hope that doesn't affect my gameplay too much. It usually kind of makes me a little bit worse. Some of this guy... He's a wizard, so we may really regret this. And also, I still didn't fix my my gyro. Yeah, the gyro is like pulling the camera to the left. That time it helped us though. Good game. I said to the bot. Uh, let's see if I can fix this. I tapped in and out. Still got the gyro messing up. Restarting the controller. Hopefully that helps. That fixed it. Okay. I'll take it. Um, last battle here. It was not great, honestly. Very close to dying here. Very lucky none of that connected. Oh shit. <laughs> Yeah, we did it. I did it. You guys didn't help, but I, you know, maybe next time you'll help. You usually do help. I know it's a full house out there tonight, but anyways, uh, yeah. So now we get to talk to the jar one more time. I love that this jar is just like, like, like the, Alexander doesn't talk about them. I don't think. Of 
great Jar's Arsenal. Very good. And I hope that didn't skip any uh, of Alexander's dialogue. If it did, I'll be really sad. But that can happen. So there's a lot to explore in Kaled. This is supposedly the first way we get into Kaled, uh, among a few other options. Um, I'm going to take us to Caleb the way that I usually, I always did in my other playthroughs though, just because I think it's a funny way to end up there. Um, but first, we just spoke with Blyde. So let's talk to Celebus. Celavis? Celavis. Sullivans. Sullivans dinner trays. Try them today. They're full of dinner surprises. Um, I think Sullivans was a fake company for comedy bing bing the tv show and that was like anytime they want to do an advertisement it was sullivan's brand for literally everything whether it was like car insurance or uh you know a good or service it was always sullivan's which was i think a really good bit you know We already dropped, or did we? Did we drop down there? We did. We had to have. Why would we not? We did. But we haven't talked to Soul of this for a second time. I have no time for idle chit chat. The only thing I will hear from you is a report of your task's completion. Are we understood? Then our future. You're, you're about to hear something different. Asking me about that, are you? The task was left to you and the mongrel, was it not? Not only are you incompetent, but shameless to boot. Well, there's no helping it. Now's as good a time as any. I'll let you in on it. There's a glintstone sorcerer by the name of Selen in Limgrave. She owes me for the help I gave her when she was expelled from the academy. I asked her to look into the matter some time ago. I'll write you a letter of introduction. Go ask her. So this is why I think Sullivan is cool, is because like he planted like this this project that we're working on, he was working on it already. And I don't think anyone necessarily told him to. And that's a that's like um you know, that's a that's a fun trope. And it's a fun like characteristic to be like that fucking on top of it that you're like you know I have no time for idle chit chat but he, he is such an asshole a report of your task's completion are we understood i have enough you do have enough on your place but especially with your flipping doll basement your doll dungeon all right uh so we talked to them let's talk to i'm gonna talk to blight every fucking time because i want to i don't want to miss dialogue from blight so use my controller to navigate the map i'm not that great at it let's level up Before we do, let's let's take a let's take a look at some weapons here. Um, see, here we are looking at this pairing dagger, and say we wanted to use this for whatever stupid reason. Um, I think it might be fun, but um, I don't think there's any reason to use a pairing dagger over other daggers, though, because you can equip parry to any dagger that accepts ashes of war. But anyways, if we wanted to use it, we would re require 14 ducks. Um, 
and we don't have that. And we, we can put some points into decks, I think, but uh, there's a level 52 spell that I have to worry about. So I'm going to take a look at that. Olden, or you know what? It's about to use Google. Let's use the game. I think I probably already have the spell from previous playthroughs. Uh, so we rank. Can we sort? FP cost. I mean, that might be helpful, but let's just look at the level. 52 Comet. Or the Great Magic Comet. Does that sound pretty cool? Um, yeah, for 24 FB, actually, that sounds pretty cool. And level 52 requirement, it, it's probably a pretty good spell. So forget it. We're not going to, we're not going to mess with the balance here. We're going to go magic or intelligence. I've got this min maxed to the max. Okay, well, so now we can talk to Blyde. Glad I didn't fast travel away. We can also look for that last torch. Um, I'm so bad at finding the torches. We got that one up there. Oh, but we passed... Maybe there's one like over here or something. And out of the way. This forest is very cool. It's I'm not like as enamored with it at the moment, but it's not because I'm I've never been a fan of this area. I do I do think it's a very wonderful place. The health guy come over here. You know, we gotta, we gotta make the lead. Call me paranoid, but have I selected this? Yes. Okay. Paranoid it is. This one. This is, I believe, the first one on the left. I don't know if the torches directly relate to their like location. It uh, looks like we already spotted it though. We didn't light that torch. Cause we got, I think we got beat by invaders or just at least distracted by them enough to not, to not do this. So we're now, we got all of them. I think that can be like, power gathers somewhere in horned remains. So I guess they made it, that's why they gave a title to that area, so that you can actually... This is definitely the type of game where, like, if you see something flash on the screen for a minute and it's, like, words, like, even if it's just a location name, it might be worth writing down and making some notes about it. Um, I'm not the type to do that myself, um, and that's unfortunate. Fuck me for not doing that. Because uh, I think I would benefit from it quite a bit. Sorry, I need to stare at you for a minute, because there's just something, I think there's something in your teeth. Oh. Right. I see. Leave this place to me. You just do what you feel is right. If either of us learns anything, we tell the other. Right? Okay. So... That did give one extra little snippet of dialogue that we wouldn't have gotten otherwise, so always worth it. I listen to all that heckin' dialogue from the heckin' doggo. How much time before I eat my lasagna? 
everyone asks. Uh, eight minutes and 37 seconds. So, can I beat the boss in that amount of time? I better be able to. If I don't, that's, that's fucking pathetic. I'm, st I'm a stupid and can't do it if, if that's what happens. We'll make it happen. I don't think I like Rock Blaster. I'm gonna get rid of that. All your damage is killing it here. What are you doing? This is such a cool boss. If we end up taking their health down before they do some of their healing moves, we'll let them... I don't know if this one heals, actually. Does it? There we go. Thank you for connecting. Good game. These are good. These are good ashes to have. We already had them, but um, this is the first of two of similar bosses, and uh, this one's not as exciting as the other one, so I'll definitely give more care to fighting the next one. But for this one, this deer is just not good. It needs to get better. Get better at fighting, get better at connecting attacks. Just, it needs to improve. get out of here? Did I, is there another... Maybe there's another uh, exit. Or a side... Isn't there usually like a side of grace or something? It looks like there's an item here. Why, it, why is it always weak? Oh, I don't know. Maybe you should um, spec into something else powerful. So that the game becomes challenging again. So, we're back. Uh, we talked to Blyde. It's now time to talk to Selen. Selen is here. Selen is cool. I need to finish her quest this time. I bring that up a lot. It's important. If I miss her quest again, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna like stream it on YouTube or something. There you are, my apprentice. Shall we commence the lesson? Let's study sorcery. Okay, we already bought everything. Give a scroll. Conspectus. Is that a scroll? Takes me back to my academy days. Very well. Hmm, this is sorcery with which I'm not entirely unfamiliar. I'll be sure to incorporate it into one of your lessons. Never lose that inquisitive spirit, my apprentice. Next card. Star shower. Well, well. Celebus is not a name I ever wanted to hear again. But fine. If it will help you, my apprentice. 
I offer my marriage. The stars alter the fate of the Karian royal family and the fate of your mistress, Rani. But long ago, General Radan challenged the swirling constellations and in a crushing victory arrested their cycles. Now he is the force that repulses the stars. If General Radan were to die, the stars would resume their movement and so too would Rani's destiny. So that's a big deal. It's a part of the story that everyone should be familiar with. Uh, it's it's probably, you know, like most people beat Radon. I think. Like at least 50% of players. And then the other bosses, not necessarily so much. Like after Radon, people kind of fall off because this game, like they realize that like, they've already experienced a whole game's worth of content by that point. And some people just like, they see that there's just like more and more and more. And then they, they, you know, they get a little, I don't know if they get burnt out necessarily, but it gets harder. So, you know, and Radon is, is kind of like, feels like an end game boss to a lot of people. Uh, it certainly did for me when I, I first fought them, I had to use, I had to get help, you know? Um, and that's that's what's cool about this game too, you know, is that it's like that like these these challenges are there's no easy mode, you know, and uh, that's what makes it cool, makes it universal, except um, you know there's some kind of messed up accessibility implications with that with this game. Uh, I really think it completely leaves a lot of people out because of it but I don't know it's a, it's a, it's an unfortunate trade-off for what is kind of a remarkable experience so um, but then again you know yeah I mean just not being able to pause you know that's a big deal okay so let's go to Caleb I am hovering around it I don't know what else I'm gonna do um, oh, no, we're not, actually. We need to talk to Blight, as, as usual. I don't know how I could forget that Blight is the person that we need to talk to. It's the most important character in the game. I gotta say, though, like, everyone wants Blight as their waifu, uh... I don't know, man. I think I think uh, Malekith has got me one over before Blight. I, Blight is a close second, although that may I don't know. There's some there's some good characters in this game. Um, I'm gonna talk to Blight in any minute now. But I do have to get something out of the oven in mere moments. So we're just going to crouch, look at Blade. I'll be about two or three minutes.
Okay, I've returned. Ah, well met. What news? Right, I see. Leave this place to me. If either of us learns... Ah, what news? Hmm. So Rani's fate is kept in stasis by Starsker's Radar. That reminds me of something I heard. There's a festival being held at the castle on the southern edge of the Caled Wilds, east of Limgrave. It's a festival of combat. And I heard that you can fight Radan himself. He who was once called the strongest of all the demigods. Maybe it's just a coincidence. I think it's worth investigating. I'll be on my way to Blight, I think you're worth investigating. Very closely. You're coming too, right? To Radan's festivities. I'll meet you at Red Main Castle in Caled. The way ahead is pleasingly simple. We fight, sword and fang. You're coming too, right? I'll meet you at Red Main. The way ahead is pleasingly simple. We fight. Sword and fang. I love that he's like, he really wants to make sure that we're coming to him. He's like, he doesn't want to go to this party alone. We won't let you die there, Blight. Okay. Uh, so now we say goodbye to Blight. Actually, because this is the last time we'll talk to him in this location. You're coming too, right? To Rodan's festivities. Oh yeah. So that's goodbye. We're definitely gonna come. That's gonna happen. As he said. Um so now do 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 let's go to my favorite uh, way to enter Caleb, which is here. That's where we begin. I think what I love about this is that this very well could be the player's first dungeon. This particular dungeon. Which is wild because... When you open the chest it teleports you away. Which is awesome, right? I think it's awesome. Now, what's maybe less awesome is where it teleports you to. First, you think, oh, cool, chest. And then you get these items, which are relatively, uh, I don't know their use as well. But this cave is like a nightmare to get out of if you're just starting out in the game. It's in the. And towards the beginning area of Caleb, but the cave itself is like these guys are very tough to fight. They do a lot of damage, and there's three of them in this room. There's one, two. There's two of them in this room. I think I just spit lasagna somewhere. Oh wow, that's some damage. I'll take it. Uh, yeah, so the first time I got here, I was sent here. 
get teleported, and if you die, you end up back in that room that we just started in. And I died maybe, you know, 20 times or so. Because I just couldn't get out. I didn't know how to get out. Some people stopped playing the game because of this teleporter. I think there's a lot of reasons someone might, like, end their playthrough early of a game, you know? Like, they may just get bored, or they may, um, they, it may just be happenstance, so, like, they play to a certain point, and then just life comes at them, and they don't, you know, they, they put it off, and then it's been long enough that they can't even, you know, it feels like it's been too long, you know, you don't have the muscle memory, so you're stuck halfway through a game that you don't feel like you, you know, you feel like you would have to start over. Um, with Elden Ring, I think that happens, I think it happens pretty often because of the difficulty of the game. So I can't believe I just, uh, did I sit down at that side of grace? No, I didn't. Okay, good. Not that it's that big of a deal. There's a third one. I thought I I thought there were three. That noise. It sounds like those little um handheld kazoos where like you don't blow into them, you just tip them upside down and then they make a long sound. Be interested in making a build around that spell. I've decided because it, it can stagger, um, and there's a lot of weird magic builds you could do. Like there's a lot of weird things you could focus on. I don't think many people would focus on that. Um, it's maybe not good enough damage to justify it. Rock Blaster. Pests Clave. Um, I think this weapon is pretty wild looking. Oh, yeah, it looks cool. Glaive made from a hard sharpened shell wielded by the pests who emerged from the swamp of Veonia, uh, which is just outside this cave. Um, slightly increases his non physical damage he gave in, which is actually cool. I didn't know that. Though men might recognize the keen intellect of the pests evidenced by the spear's uncanny design, it will never be understood by them. It is an interesting design. But it is also hard for me to th imagine that, like, mankind couldn't wrap their head around a sword, you know? And maybe, like, how it's, you know, I don't know, yeah. Maybe it's, like, sturdier than they, uh, they think it should be or something.
Although I thought I would sneak up on it. Uh oh, tabbed out by my operating system. Okay. Praise the faithful canvas talisman as they were doing. It's pretty good. Plus five faith. Anytime you want to try something out, you don't have enough faith. Uh, you know, that thing helps. It's also the faith not tears. I have two faith not tears in that talisman. That's 25 faith. Honestly, that's kind of an interesting way to have like a uh, like a build that maybe you, maybe you want to do strength, but you want to try like blowing through all your FP first and doing a faith build. You could have a seal equipped, do a bunch of incantations um, with the crystal tier, get your twenty faith, you know, bonus faith. Then as soon as it drops out and you stop being able to cast, you just swap to your strength weapons. And then you're a different, completely different beast to be dealing with. Oh, that's what that does. I forgot. You can just run away from it. I wonder what this would look like if it were, instead of being like a bull scorpion thing, it was like a raccoon thing. So what would the raccoon version look like? I don't have these answers. I, I want those answers. Still have them. <laughs> so we just went through that whole dungeon without doing any... Any PvP fights. Maybe that's okay though. Is it a good area to fight in? I think so. I think as long as the bug guys are cleared out. Well hey Tempest, sorry, I just noticed you. Hope I didn't miss too miss you for too long. Um Yeah, I guess the raccoon version of that would be less spiky, but I don't know. Zigzagoon is pretty spiky, um, and that's sort of like a raccoon Pokemon, sort of like a Tanuki. Oh, okay. Yeah, welcome. Welcome, Tempest. How's your night been? Okay, so I um, I just turned on invasions. I don't want to wait too long though, because it is later now. I don't know if we're gonna get many. 
Maybe I'll run through and kill the bug people. And if nobody comes by then. Very scary. They do a lot of damage too. Um, especially um, one one thing that you miss, Tempest, is that the way to get here, um, you can always like travel through the world to find this place. But there's also like a a sort of mini dungeon at the very beginning of the game that takes you here. Like if you open a chest, it'll teleport you here. So like if you're a new player and you get teleported here, um, like. You're you're kind of in trouble. Like it's hard to get out of here, and you get you get stuck respawning right here. Um, and that happened to me actually. It took me like twenty times to just get out of this place because I was I was trapped. And like it's interesting because like yeah, on the one hand it it kind of sucks. Because there's definitely people who, like, will stop playing the game if that happens to them. Because, like, people will, like, look up online, like, hey, how do you how do you get your save file changed, you know, to fix that? Um, so that I don't get stuck in there. Um, and, but, you know, at the same time, I think it's kind of awe-inspiring that Elden Ring, like, goes that far with their game that, like, there's certain corners that you can turn that like are that prohibitively damning, you know, that they would want you to start over or maybe even not continue playing. Um, like, it's kind of interesting, you know? Um, and ultimately, if you do get stuck here, um, the trick, really the trick, like no matter what build you are, it may take, it may take some tries, but you just gotta run out. That's all you gotta do. Um, you may not know where to run at first, but what you do is you just, you just run out here and by the time you're here you might have been spotted by that bug. So if the bug is one-shotting you, you might have to dodge like once or twice. You might, you know, if you're a new player you might even just panic roll down this hallway. But once you turn this corner, you're set. Um, you know, you're, you're done. You don't have to... you're, you're out and you don't have to fight everyone. And then you touch the side of grace. And then you exit up here and you're set. You're saved. But for me, like personally, when I got stuck there and had to die 20 times, I kind of loved it. Um, it was just kind of like, I just kind of loved that it happened to me. It was like, you know, it's like a whole story to tell from just like maybe 20 minutes of gameplay, you know? I don't think we have Tantra's tongue on. there. Oh, threw me off again. It's, it's wrapping back, I think. Got it. First try, except it wasn't the first try at all. It was kind of the first try because this is the first time it was near us. But this is a scenic place, right?
that dog. It's definitely murdered me a lot. Now it's my turn. Um, a fire pot. That is a. That's definitely an invader that we're hearing. By, invaded by just a noob. See the invader. So wizards aren't cutting it, they're not doing it. That's why we that's why we have the invader, you know? They keep this on our toes. Oh, that I paid the price in. I think it's just gonna shoot at me. Huh? That's a silly spell to cast. Oh, that's smart. That's really smart. Having that dagger in the offhand. Uh, very good. Let's, let's see, Stake of America? No. Because if we go to the Stake of America, it'll take us, I think, a lot further than where we're at. Let's go get our runes. I don't know how many we had. Just a noob. Oops. Sorry about that. Oh, that sucks. Can't believe we didn't get that. Oh, good work. Very good work. I think I had a chance, but um, the fact that they knocked me down, it, it's, it's because I jumped, I believe. Um, certain hits, like if you get hit by them while you're in the air, they will just knock you flat. Um, and I think they know. I think they knew that I was going to try and jump off there.
But yeah, that's, that guy's fun to fight. I know I died pretty quickly both times, but um, I definitely want to see that fight happen again. If at all possible. We got plenty to do in town while we wait. Uh, this town is under lockdown due to COVID measures, um, you know, which is important. Gotta keep people healthy. Oh, I can't use torrent. It's okay. I can jump up here. I think we can hit that where we were. Double slash. We have been invaded. I do not see them yet. Seal is broken in town. Hmm. It's one of three seals we have to break. The last one is over there, so we may as well drop down at this point. We got plenty to do over here. Such as... Surprise! I knew where you were. You can free aim this spell, which is fun. Because, like, I don't want to carry around a bow, but I can shoot one with magic. I also need to get a better um, staff. I, I did not look up which staff to use. It's going to take some research, you know? Iron Vapor is fighting our friends, I think. Your magic. If it's wizard magic, I can handle it. Oh. I'll let them kill. Good battle. 
Uh oh. The wizard has been more dangerous than the invader. Please help me. Thank you. That was awesome. They didn't help me with the invader, but they helped me. They, they saved my life. Awesome. <laughs> Free aiming in a big jump like that is really fun. You know, it's sad it's sad that people think that they need to ruin farm in this game because what you what you really need to do is just play through New Game Plus and turn on Tantra's Tongue because, um, you know, and you can even summon people to be with you to help you get extra runes. Um, I think that the enemies they kill will give you XP as well. Oh, an imbued sword key. That's our last one. But yeah, um, when you die. If someone kills you, you don't lose your runes, you just have to go get them. So, you know, you got all these people who will do, like, rune farms. But we're only gonna get to... we only want to get to level 137 anyways. Um, that's where we're stopping. And another invader. And this guy. Wow. It's so cool that they're invisible here. Um, they're not invisible anywhere else. It's like they're ghosts. But they're not. They're, well, maybe they are. I don't think they are. Yeah. That's a good question, honestly. So we still got one more seal to break, but we also have to talk to Grandpa. Um, he's right over here. Waifu ring, okay. Um, I guess that takes care of that. Hello, doggy. Let's talk to Gowry. Oh, a pleasure to see you. A pleasure indeed. I am Gowry, a great sage. In my day, anyway. I'd hoped to ask a favor when one of your ilk came along. A strapping young tarnished, able to cross the Scarlet Swamp of Aeonia. Don't fret. I'll provide fine recompense. Should you accept? I will teach you the secret of Celia, the town you see there. Ah, then you are willing to lend a hand, are you? I need your help to heal a certain young girl. Her name is Millicent. That's fun. Imagine wanting to, like, play multiplayer. And that's how you do it, is by interrupting dialogue. That way we don't actually fight. Ah, uh, he didn't he didn't let me bait him. What are 
are they going? You know, the hunters are being summoned now, right? They want the upper ground, I guess? Not my thing. Come on, do a jump attack. I know you want to. Idiot. <laughs> Fucking dipshit. Sorry, I didn't have any respect for him. Most people who invade me, I have respect for him. That guy I didn't know, so. It was kind of funny being surprised, but uh, like it didn't really surprise me either. It's like, yeah, I'm like talking to somebody, oh, so. A pleasure to see you. A pleasure indeed. I am Gary, a great sage. I'd hoped to ask a first strapping young. Don't fret. I'll provide. Should you accept, I will teach you the secret of Celia. Ah, then you are willing to lend a hand, are you? I need your help to heal a certain young girl. Her name is Millicent. You will find her beyond Celia, resting at the church atop the cliff, stricken by the rotting sickness. The rotting sickness that afflicts Millicent has no cure. When the Earth Tree flourished, even the demigods could not stave off its effects, despite their nigh godhood. But Millicent's suffering can be ameliorated. For this, you are to find a certain needle. Seek the deep, scarlet swamp of Aeonia outside Celia's bounds. The needle, made from unalloyed gold, is lost somewhere there. First, you must find the unalloyed gold needle. It's hidden somewhere in the deep scarlet swamp of Aeonia. Then I will tell the secret of the town of Celia. Okay. Thank you. The secret... Uh, spoiler alert, but... The secret he tells you is not really a secret, because we were already doing it. The secret secret is um what is the secret? The uh we we were lighting towers in town and he tells you to do that. <laughs> so that's all the secret is. He's like, go light some towers. And we're like, we already did that. Like we you have to do a lot of stuff for him too. And then that's it's not the greatest of rewards. So I don't, I don't think they're coming up here, I guess. It's a little bit odd. Which is maybe smart. They can't have gone very far either. Here's somebody. Oh, that was great. I don't know where he went. I don't know. I have a feeling that maybe we got the same invader twice, possibly. I'm not sure. 
I didn't see. I didn't catch the name. Night coming. Um, I'm gonna take a look at the painting over here. But I'm not gonna interact with it yet. I know this puts me at a... Why did they return to their world? Did they get bored? They may have gotten bored. Okay, so... I think what's in the background there is a bestial sanctum, so there's really only a few places that can be, especially with those like arches. So we'll come back to that painting and we'll figure it out. So I, don't, I definitely don't want to miss any paintings this room. Can you tell that I like the jumping attack? Has it? Have I? Uh, have I revealed my secret that easily? It's really good. It just does. It does so much damage, especially um, the claw talisman is very powerful. It increases jumping attacks. I do not know where the invader is. But they're not too careful, they're gonna get boss walled. If they're up here, I commend them greatly. That would be pretty funny. That'd be wild, yeah. It's too bad. The two hunters are chilling, I guess. Got the spell drake talisman. We've gone in and gathered all the things from the seals. Now that we've done that, we can either fog wall the invader or we can just continue on to Caleb with our two companions who don't seem to be concerned with uh, hanging out with me. I do not know where they went. But if they're still here, um, let's, let's have them along, you know? I think what might also be happening is that the invader may be following close by and just waiting for a, a more opportune time to fight. I think that bug may have, we may have given it an easy win. Come on, bug, no! That's tragic. We'll have to come back for that. And we have to wait till our invader is gone to do that. This game loves the concept of things that are like ephemeral, uh, whether it's, you know. And honestly, I think it actually just gives a flask this is what we wanted, the Sacred Ling Ring of Light. Okay, 
we killed one of the bugs. Oh, I'm supposed to kill these guys. Let's see, you gotta like it that action more. Okay, I think I'm done swatting bugs. Oh, we'll switch spots. Sure. That was close. Plane rat helm. Okay. You gotta be careful in this area because if you roll in the lake, uh, you get covered in rot juice um, and you will become infected with it if you roll in it. Uh, I think that's a really cool game detail. But, like if you're in a poison area or or rot lake, um, be careful where you roll. And there is a cure though, if you do it in time. Uh, you can eat a rot, like a staunching bolus, which is a cure. Uh, but alternatively, you can use the soap item um, to wash yourself off. And that'll, that'll fix you up. In fact, let's do that. Since I'm, you know, I am technically a wash bear. So let's do it. Soap, equipped it. So as you can see, I rolled in the rot um, a couple times there, and my meter is going to keep climbing, I think, until I am inflicted with rot. But we have soap. <laughs> I love the way it looks when you activate it. And now I'm clean. So hooray. The noises these guys make when they fall over is pretty entertaining, I would say. So here is the... we're close to the area of us, but we can go over here. 
is a side of grace we haven't gotten yet. And it's pretty convenient to have it. Oh, did it count that? No, it's very detailed, see? Like, I've been rolling just outside of, um, out of view, or out of, you know, haven't been rolling in the rut, but just barely. It's too bad they don't have, um, what, what are those, what's that item in Armello that lets you walk through swamps? It's like a talisman, um, or it's a ring, actually. Yeah, it's a ring. The swamp boots, did they call them? I guess that's what would be really handy in this game, but there's no such thing as a swamp boot. Or the winged boots, something like that. It's a ring for the lizard clan, and then it's like a card or an item for any character. I wish I had my, uh, my hunters with me. Very good hit. Thank you, Fennec. It was fun to have you, and uh, hope you have a great rest of your day. And thanks again for dropping by. It's always fun. I'm not doing a lot of damage to this boss, am I? Is it because I have the hunter friends with me? Or is it just because I'm bad? I'm really, like, not doing damage. Oh, wow, the range on that is incredible. I'm just gonna run away from that. Bring me the strength of magic. I'm gonna go kill this guy. He doesn't deserve it. Uh oh. Did he just summon more? I don't think so. Okay, I don't feel terrible about that. Uh, a little too early. Five healing juices. That was good. Never know if he's gonna do that really big one, so I'm like afraid to 
to summon more friends. They're not ranged though. Which is kind of scary actually. I think that was worth the trade, especially since it's these guys. Got one of them though. Two of them. You can handle that. Now it's time to, f to be afraid. Oh jeez, I'm lucky. Three more health. Commander O'Neill. Only hit him with one sword there. Sure didn't work. Frostbit again for probably like the fifth time. He, he's got a lot of health. Uh oh. <laughs> you know what I mean? Keep going was a good fight. That felt like, that was the first fight that felt like a boss fight, for real. So we got the Commander Standard, which is decent, maybe. And then we got the Unalloyed Gold Needle, which we need. The invader seems to have just left. I don't know what the deal with that was. Apparently we didn't get the side of grace here. I don't know how we've missed that. Oh no, we did. Celia Crystal Tunnel, that's where it was. Okay. Six levels away from freedom. And I think that actually means we can level up again. I want to be careful with my leveling here because um, you know I don't want to goof it up but I think it's not a difficult thing to fuck you know to get right so
we still have no we don't have that on anymore which is okay it, it just it glitched out previously um, we open this up this now We could have maybe. Well, we're good. So we had a boss. These bosses, I think, are pretty easy to miss. They're not required. Apparently this person likes the item in here. The Knox brothers or sisters or duo or accomplices. I think you get the Knox flowing hammer from this maybe? Which is what they're using. It's a, the gooey looking hammer. It's goopy. And they sure are punishing me for attacking the way I am. Boom, headshot. Come on, can you get me? Easy. Good game. Flux, or the Nox Flowing Sword. Um, I think that's a curved sword. It's a curved sword. Um, I don't know a lot about it, but it's a curved sword that doesn't cause bleed buildup. Um, flowing form. Maybe that is pretty cool to use. I don't know. A grim weapon wielded by a swordsman of the Eternal City, this chattel has a blade as fine as a needle. Uh, forged from the liquid metal of a silver, silver tier, it is surly tempered until hardened. So just to kind of show what it does. Where's my dex talisman? There it is. This is what it does. After here I'll get a side grace. I'm gonna remove rock blaster for now. I would have to like build for this. It's really hard to use this effectively. Maybe I don't know. Maybe I haven't given up on it yet. But uh, the flux, the the flowing sword. <laughs> that that noise is funny. But the rest of the time, it's just a regular weapon. And the cool thing about the chattels is, if you're holding down for a heavy attack, but then you dodge. You do a little, you do a little backflip roll. It's the only weapon type in the game that allows that. Especially, I don't, I don't think it's easy to use effectively, but. It's, got, it's sort of a way to cancel a heavy attack, I guess, but you do have to do it pretty quickly. Oh, actually, you don't. You just, you do have to do it by a certain point. But, and you can wait pretty long, though, it looks like. But not too long. Yeah, it's easy to miss if you, if you wait too long. 
and then two-handed. Uh, the Chattels tend to be pretty great with the uh, power stancing. I've done really well with them. But you can two-hand. Anyways, uh, let's, let's unequip this. So next, let's talk to Gowry again. Actually, uh, yeah, let's talk to Gowry. Let's get him out of the way, then we'll do the painting. Um, well, see, I want to do the painting, but I don't think I have any Sights of Grace near the painting. Or near the destination of the painting. Good dog. As promised, I've detailed the secret of Celia right here. Go on. It's yours. Celia's secret. Now, let me have a look at the needle. Hmm. Hmm. Well, well, this is a marvel indeed. The work of a true artisan. A meticulous, bold craftsman who grasps the essence of life. Can you give me some time with this? As well made as it is, it won't be much use snapped in half, will it? Sure. Take the needle that I just fought for. Can you give me some time with this? As well made as it is, it won't. <laughs> okay. Whatever you say, dude. In the meantime, the painting, we'll go take a look at it again because we're going to do it now. Well, no, we won't take a look yet. We'll have to come back. So I think we're going to want to teleport here, but we don't have this side of grace. Um, I don't think any of this is accessible from where we were. But now I'm curious because the map makes it look like it is. And if it is, I've never been over there. So now I'm really curious. Okay, let's go. Time to go exploring. The map definitely makes it look that way, but I, I, I can't imagine that you can go over there. Time to find out. The moment of truth is right around this corner. Um, yeah, it does not... The map is not super accurate in this case. Or it's a little misleading, is what I would call it. Because going up there is not an option, so... Um... We can go over there, but not from here. Oh, Torrent, I'm so sorry.
but it happened again. My brain uh, got flustered there because I used to have triangle pre plus right on the d-pad set to torrent, actually. So I was trying to call torrent by healing. Honestly, I don't even know how much battery life my controller has left. And I'm at um, the five hour mark, but I, I kind of want to finish this part. That's so many, that's so many sides of grace away though. So we're, it's a good thing we didn't activate the painting. We'll just finish uh, talking to Gauri. Um, so the side of grace over here we should get. Oh. We won't go too crazy. It's also kind of yeah. Let's let's just go talk to him. sickness erodes one's memory. I doubt that she remembers the first thing about me. Oh, I must be getting old. I didn't always worry so much. <laughs> yeah, that's not, that's kind of creepy, you know? He's kind of a creeper. I think he does. I mean, this whole quest line pays up pretty well, but we've already gotten that item, so we'll probably, you know, probably do it differently this time. So now let's get a side of grace. I think this area might be worth taking a glance at. It's definitely a place where I've probably spent the least amount of time. Because, like, you got this guy here. He's not particularly unique. Aside from the fact that they're, like, they kind of represent... 
They like they got a fire inside of them. Unlike the Wow. Oh yeah, we got the giant up there. Throwing rocks at us. <laughs> He's helping. Thank you. Yes, please continue to help. I think it's great because these guys throw stuff at you too, so it's almost like they learn from the guy up there. I think running should protect us. Yeah. A lot of people died here. I, it definitely surprised me. Even though I've already... It's already happened to me once. It's nighttime and it looks like there is a friend here. What the heck? This one looks different. It does kind of look different. Oh no! <laughs> that looks rough. Swing and a miss. This might be the the death bird that I've been wanting to fight. So much fire. Really hard to get a hit in because of that. This is a tough one, actually. Actually. Oh, yeah. Death's poker. This is what I wanted. And it is a great sword. I didn't know it was a great sword. Wow. This will be fun to use, honestly. But it weighs. It doesn't weigh that much. For a great sword. Ghost Slime Ignition. This is what I've been excited to try. It's a barbed rod carried by the death birds. The birds are graveyard fire keepers. Uh, it is said they rake out the ashen remains of the dead from their kilns. Interesting. And, um, looks like I only have one. This is astonishing. So, 
that's gonna be uh I'll have to get someone to help me get another one. So I want two of them. Why could you why would you want only one? You gotta have two. That's where the Radon Festival is. But we're not going to do that today at all. And I love that view. Let's get the telescope out, actually. That's it. That's the, uh, it's a good picture. Uh, sadly, I don't think I could remove the northeast. Yeah, I think that's as close as you can get without mods, at least. You could definitely, like, become a hobby photographer in this game. And I've actually, uh, like, honestly, I might do that at some point. I, I enjoy photography, and, you know, if you get the right mods installed, you can choose, probably change things like what, what time of day it is, the weather, that kind of stuff on the fly, um, that would be very, very fun. Oh boy, it's time for any bird you gotta fight in this game. Probably gonna be tough. They're not doing a lot of damage, but they're still serious. Yeah, we're pretty powerful. Yeah, I really hadn't explored that area. It's the first time I killed that, that ghost bird. Fight really easily. It's <laughs> so dramatic, too. Such a dramatic death. And we have a merchant nearby. Oh, there they are, I believe.
no. Maybe that is him. There he is, yeah. Well, is there a side of grace nearby? I think I'll just use a side of grace. I just saw it. Point, point taken. They can't poison me twice. Here's a side of grace. Healed up. So, judging from where I'm at, I don't know where that mention is. And they're not on my map yet because I haven't met them. I do think they're this direction, if I had to guess. This place is a maze. In a good way, though. Must be further north. There's a side of grace down there too. This is a very big area. It's easy to forget how much there is to do here. There's not like as much to do as the city, that sorcerer city, but, you know, especially since we already beat the boss here, there's still plenty to do.
Now it tells us. So I'm going to put on you. He's talking to Millicent or something. I think it's time for one more invasion, but it's an NPC. I know I definitely took it. I stopped uh, letting people invade me towards the end here. Just because I'm super tired, I'm gonna end stream pretty soon, but I want to get this fight out. Millicent, okay, yeah. Even though we kind of just like... We were being told about Millicent. So there's a sort of like, copy of Millicent here in the swamp. Or something. Something about this is bizarre. Maybe we won't end here. Is who? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we'll fight her at the start of next stream. Not because we can't beat her, but because there's like lore reasons to kind of explore. Because we, we end up talking to Millicent, and she's she's the woman who that creep was talking about. And she's she, we haven't met her yet. We just got invaded by her. I know that doesn't make any sense, but I'm very tired. Brain's not going to pull through for me at this uh, trying hour. can go to this breakfast breakfast club here. Oh, I wonder if there's even a way to like I may have to fight her. Or die her. Yeah, return to their world. Okay, that works for me. Oh, um well we didn't find the merchant, we did find Millicent. Um Enemies around us. I got turned around again, too, I think. Oh, okay. We're good. Poisonous mist. Okay. I'll take it. And then I'll fast travel here because this is where I'll want to be. Well, this looks good. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and see if it was online. All right, let's um let's raid Death Hex. They're playing uh Tarok, Dinosaur Hunter. 
It's a classic. I'll be watching too for a little bit, so. Um, Oh, you know what? I don't think we can rate them. We don't quite, uh, well, can we? Yeah, it won't let us. Not enough of us. Well, we can go raid um, the 13th Seahawk. Um, they're playing, well, okay, I don't know. We can keep it on Elden Ring, actually. What do you guys say? Let's keep it on Elden Ring. So, Heartbreaker Jaker is playing Elden Ring. So, I'll go ahead and rate them. And thank you for watching. Uh, it's been fun. I look forward to getting to Arena mode. That'll be good. Um, but for now, enjoy.